Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Lip Lispy WL. So as you can see, I already have my eyes on. If you want to see a tutorial on this, it'll be up on my Instagram. But today we're going to try something new with our makeup, as you guys probably already saw from the title. <laughs> I just always so awkward. I watch Jackie Ina on YouTube all the time. I love her. Her videos are so funny, so helpful, and all that good stuff. And she always puts powder on her face before she puts foundation and like says that it makes it look more smoother and more long lasting in terms of like not getting oily and all that stuff. So we're gonna put that to the test today and see if it works. I hope it works because that would be amazing. So I am going to do it. I'll do like a little bit of a wear test as well and then update you guys later on in the day. So saying that, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so to start off, I am going to prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Primer. So this is the only primer that works for me. You guys know that. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto the skin. So the powder I will be using is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the Deep Shade. Deep, right? I'm pretty sure it's a deep shade, the darker one. This is the one she always uses as well, and I just have my damp beauty blender. We're just going to go ahead, I already primed my face, and we're just going to go ahead and just really press this into the skin. Oh, I forgot to color correct. Maybe <laughs> I should do that first. Obviously, I messed up right away at the beginning of the video, so we're just going to go ahead, color correct. So now we're going with the powder again. Hopefully this stuff doesn't fall on my shirt. I'm just going to massage that in. But I feel like this, since this has some coverage, it's doing good, but hopefully, like, it's just kind of adding coverage. I don't know. It just looks like a powder on my face right now, but we'll see how the foundation goes on top. I'm going to concentrate this on the smile lines in places I crease and get oily a lot. It's kind of changing the color of my face. So there's that. First impressions, it had some coverage, it covered up a lot of my acne, not fully obviously, but like to a good amount. And like my smile lines look super flawless as well. Like you can't really really see on the second look. And then you can't see it as much as normally, so that's amazing. Let's try the foundation. We're going to be using the Huda Beauty Full well Filter today. So a new trick I've learned is to just kind of massage the foundation onto the skin. Let it sit for a bit and then blend it out. So let's see how that works. So now that I did that, as you can see, color just not match me. Oh well. Now the Fenty forehead matches me perfectly. So we're just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Okay, so the coverage is very good. I only put one pump because I already had some coverage from the thing. So yeah. Um yeah, I look like a pump. <laughs> Okay guys, so overall, just looking at the foundation, I didn't put powder on top. I don't think I have to because I did it at the bottom. I might put some setting powder in the middle, but I'll let you guys know. Actually, no, I'm not. Just to like really see the difference it makes. But um, I feel like the skin looks super flawless. Again, the Huda Beauty already kind of does that, but I have to use a little bit instead of like the two pumps I usually have to use. One pump did more than enough. So yeah, in terms of the coverage, super duper, super duper nice. And it looks really flawless and it looks matte too. It looks a little bit more matte than it usually would. Definitely more matte than it usually would. And uh, we're going to use the NYX concealer to highlight. This is going to be really light, but I kind of need it with this orange going on. <laughs> So just let it sit for a little bit and now we're going to blend it out. I'm going back with the same powder like I would normally use the bed knife right now just because I want it to stay bright but I don't want to like mix up the powder so we're going to go ahead with this. I want you guys to see how everything actually like works on top of it instead of me just coming and telling you guys after. So we're going to go ahead and contour, highlight, and do blush and all that good stuff right now as well. So using my Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Kara. So I feel like it feels like really, really matte without me even having to put the powder on top, which isn't a bad thing. I love a matte face. So I really like it so far. It's blending really easily. There's no like stiffness or like any like random grip anywhere in the skin, if that makes sense. Like it's not like textured or anything like that. We're just going to bake the bottom as well under the contour as always. Same powder. I don't know why, but I love looking at myself like this. I just really love it. Just everything off. I like it. It looks really, really, really flawless. So let's continue. Going with the ABH blush kit in the shade Berry Adore. And I am going to go in with this middle shade right here. Going in with Sun Dipped Glow Kit in the shade Bronze. I feel like the blush I just used has like a little bit of a glow compared to the other gradient glow kit. Okay guys, so just looking at my face, it looks 
so flawless. Like, I'm so surprised. It, it was easy to blend out. I am surprised. Like, my under eyes are creasing because I keep tearing up because of my lashes. But other than that, like, my skin. Can you guys, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it looks so smooth. Like, and it looks all even and like. It looks really, really good. Okay, guys, so I am back. I just went ahead and finished up my bottom lash line and put on my lipstick. I am wearing LAX from ColourPop. My skin looks super duper 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 flawless, more than I feel like it ever has when I wear a, wore a foundation, ever. Like, I'm talking about my Becca full cover. I'm talking about the Huda. Like, you know how flawless it makes your skin look. I'm talking about Fenty. And another thing is, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Like, I am, but like, it doesn't feel heavy like you know how really lightweight Fenty feels on your skin it kind of feels like that it feels like nothing is on the skin which is really weird because you have like an extra step in there it hasn't gotten oily at all as well I was taking pictures for Instagram and you know like the, my ending video for my Instagram videos and stuff usually like by this time I'll get a little bit oily up here but even with my ring light on it's really not that noticeable it's not oily up there at all so so far it's holding up really really well so I have a feeling this is really gonna work so I'll come and and check up with you guys in a little bit but just as an overall thing as I said it looks super flawless like I could definitely tell a difference I'll come and update you guys in a few hours and let's see where it's at then hey guys so I am back I got makeup on my shirt I'm actually gonna cry so it's been a few hours now maybe like three to four hours as long as I can do it because I have to go to sleep so Literally, I feel like it looks exactly the same. The quality of the video might look a little bit darker. I don't know what happened with my camera, but it looks a little dark. So, I'm sorry about that. But everything looks exactly the same. There's no extra oiliness. To be honest, by this time, I would have gotten oily for sure, especially around here and here. But there's like nothing. So obsessed with how flawless my skin looks. And I'm going to be using this technique from now on if I'm going to be going out and stuff like that kind of sucks because this means I have an added step to my routine but at the same time if you you're gonna look more flawless who cares right so I suggest so I suggest you guys to try this out too and let me know your thoughts and if you have already tried it out let me know as well I can't wait to hear your opinions on it again I do have oily skin so that's probably why it looks like really flawless on my skin I'm not sure how well it would work on drier skin it might make you feel a little bit drier not too sure but if you do try it again let me know saying that that is the end of this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys